everyone so after a very much requested video today we are doing Wendy from Peter Pan a makeup tutorial it's going to be super simple and easy to achieve so I'm just getting a lot of inspiration from the Disney princesses at Disney World so that is what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be focusing mostly just on eyeliner and a little bit of eyeshadow but not too much so if I look horrible right now it's because I am one sick two sleep deprived three sick so the first thing we're going to be doing is foundation so I'm going to be using the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation to get rid of this horrible sick disease that I have that is currently on my face I am using a little bit of the Nivea balm too to put all over my face I thought it would be fun to do a talk through since this is going to be a super simple easy look and yeah no wigs or anything today we're going all natural because Wendy has reddish hair I have reddish hair so it's all perfect as much as I like transforming keeping it simple is probably one of my favorite things to do so I'm really happy about that so I'm just going to quickly apply some foundation on this is a Disney look so it's going to be easy to achieve because I'm all about the everyday Disney so if you want to wear this to Disneyland or Disney World, please tag me. I would love it. I'm actually really shocked by the amount of people who wanted a Wendy look because she's a little girl, but I guess because she is so iconic in the way that like you can look like her just by putting a blue dress on and curling your hair and just like I don't know it's just super easy to achieve and I think that's what you guys just want something to to kind of like look at so you can get some inspiration I get it I just I wouldn't think that this would be one of my most requested Disney looks but it is so you guys surprise me every single day I'm just taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to hide my sleep deprivation and sickness. So my camera totally cut me off while I was going to show you guys, but I just powdered my face and I just used the airspin powder. So I just powdered my whole face. You want to make sure you are nice and matte because Wendy is a matte girl. I know she is. Then I wanted to go for a youthful blush look, so I am using the Gorgeous Cosmetics Custom Blush Palette. And I've been using this every single day for blush just because it has every blush color I need. So this is how it looks like and I'm going to be using this blush right here because it's pretty pink and looks very youthful. So I am going to just smile really big for you guys. Pretend I'm auditioning for a Disney park. I'm also going to put a little on my nose because that is also very youthful. Okay, yay! Now we have these really cute rosy cheeks, perfect for Wendy. So, moving on to the eyes. Like I said, this is going to focus all on eyeliner because I have blue contacts in. I feel like black liner really brings out blue eyes. If you have blue eyes and are doing this look, then it's perfect. But if you have brown eyes like me, I wear contacts, but you don't have to wear contacts. I'm not saying you have to have blue eyes to do this look. Black liner makes any eye color pop. So, just saying. I am using the Gorgeous Cosmetics Custom Blush Palette again. Well, it's eyeshadow palette. 
And I'm going to take this shade right over here and place it all over my lid and underneath my brow area. I feel like when you add shimmers, it starts making the look a little more glam and we don't want that. Then we are going to take this color right here and place this on the lower lash line. Okay, why is it so dark? On the lower lash line and all over the lid kind of as well. I'll show you what I mean. So let's first do the lower lash line. So you can get those like dollish round eyes. like that and then we're going to take the same color and just place it on like on the sockets of your lids like this just run it back and forth this is usually how i do my eyeshadow so like that you're just going back and forth and just swirling it in the outer corner just leaving a little bit of space in the middle to show that <laughs> white eyeshadow. Then what you're going to want to do is take that other matte neutral color and just a little bit dab some on the inner corner so we didn't lose it. Not inner corner, I mean middle of the lid. Like that and then take a little bit more of that brown eyeshadow I was showing you and fluff it back in there. Super simple. Okay, so now what we're going to do is move on to the eyeliner. I'm taking this micro felt tip liner. I'm putting this super small wing on my eyes. So you all saw my Kim Possible look. Something like that. that micro line there we're gonna do the same on the other eye Okay, so now I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Weirdo Eyeliner and run it on my lower lash line because I feel like black liner and blue eyes look amazing. <laughs> Okay, and we most certainly cannot forget her fluttery lashes. I am using Bordeaux by The Lash Collection. I use these for my tangled look, and I feel like these eyelashes make your looks, eyes look very animated, and I love them. While we're waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to be curling my lashes and adding mascara. I'm just using the Big Shot by Maybelline. I have been using that. God, I was so scared I was gonna forget how to put lashes on because I've been wearing magnetics non-stop but let's move on to the lips I am going to take this is gonna be my trick this is how I get those really pretty like uh, washed out like pink lips I don't know how to explain it but kind of like a stain is I take cherry by Mac I'm gonna line my lips
and then I'm also gonna take Ruby Woo and it's just a bright red. She does not bright she does not have bright red lips. Wait, I'm going to wipe this off. It's gonna give me a really nice stain. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to take Pink Plaid by MAC and it's gonna give me the lips I'm looking for. skip the staining part but I feel like if we didn't have the staining this look would look completely red and completely pink and I didn't want that. And then if you run the red lipstick over it, it just keeps it a nice rosy red lip. Rosy pink lip. Okay, you guys, that is it for my Wendy inspired everyday Disney makeup look. If you guys do recreate this look and you go to Disney World or Disneyland looking like this, please tag me. All my socials will be down below. But yeah, let me know what Disney look you would like to see me do next. Disney is my favorite thing in the whole world, so I would love, I love recreating these looks if I have the props and everything possible. But yeah, I'm so glad you requested to do Wendy. She's one of the most underrated Disney girls out there. I feel like people don't do tutorials on her often, but I was so happy to do that tutorial with you guys today. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.